Hello children, it's our favorite time of the day, story time. And we, the dreamy storytellers, are back with yet another exciting story. Today, Bella has chosen a very interesting book about painting. Do you like to paint? Well, this book has a paintbrush and a magical one. It also has an emperor, a little girl who's very brave. Would you like to know what happens next? Well, I have my nighttime owl friend here. How about we cuddle in and listen to Bella read us a book on the magic paintbrush. The Magic Paintbrush by Julia Donaldson. Go and catch some shrimp, Shen. Go and catch some fish. Go and gather oysters to fill the empty dish. Shen sits on the seashore, a stick in her hand. She sits draw there drawing pictures, pictures in the sand. She draws a flower, a flying fish. She draws a boat at sea. A hen, a hare, a dancing dog, a weeping willow tree. The waves roll in and wash away the pictures in the sand. There on a rock sits a man. about this magic brush. He slips the brush into her hands. He tells her to be sure never to paint to the wealthy folk, but only for the poor. Did you catch some shrimp, Shen? Did you catch some fish? Did you gather oysters to fill the empty dish? No shrimps, no fish, no oysters. Shen laughs and runs inside. She paints the pot then stands and waits until the paint is dried. The paint dries on the paper, the painting of the pot. The painting is not a painting anymore, but real and steaming hot. The pot is full of shrimp, Shen. The pot is full of fish. The pot is full of oysters to fill the empty dish. The village people hear the news and in the house they crush. Young and old want to see Shen and her magic brush. She paints a melon for a boy, a ladder for a man, a basket for a woman, and for a girl, a fan. The news soon spreads far and wide and people stand in queues for blankets, boats and buffaloes, hats and coats and shoes. The news spreads over fields of rice and over desert sands. Till at last, in Chen's house, the powerful emperor stands. I order you to paint a tree and make it very big. Instead of leaves, paint gold coins, a hundred on each twig. Shen shakes her head. Your majesty, I promise to be sure, never to paint for the wealthy folk, but only for the poor. The emperor scowls and stamps his foot. He bellows to his men. Seize the magic paintbrush and seize the girl called Shen. Now Shen sits in prison upon a cold stone floor. She waits there till the emperor opens the prison door. He holds the magic paintbrush. He orders, paint that tree. Paint my tree of gold coins and then I shall set you free. Shen takes the brush and bowing low says, Gracious Majesty, come back in the morning and you shall have your tree. That night the Emperor lies in bed and he dreams about his tree. While Shen is busy painting, a horse and then a key. The key turns in the prison door and Shen stands free outside. She climbs onto the horseback and she swiftly starts to ride. Where are my coins, the emperor shouts, and where's the, my golden tree? Where's the magic brush, he cries, who let the girl go free? He climbs onto his fastest horse, and he rides with all his men. Over the fields and the desert sands, they gallop after Shen. It's Shen, it's Shen, she's back again, the neighbours gather around. 
But Shen is painting silently, while, while distant hoofbeats sound. She paints a mighty river, a river deep and wide. An emperor and all his men stop on the other side. The emperor scowls and stamps his foot. He shakes his fists at Shen. I'll swim across your river, and so will my men. But Shen is busy painting a beast with scales and claws. Its scarlet wings are open and flames curl from its jaws. My dragon needs a tail, says Shen, and then it will be real. Yes, it, then it will be roaring and ready for a meal. Now shall I paint that tail, she says, or will you rather go? She dips her br- brush into the pot. The emperor cries out, no! He turns his horse and rides away. Away ride all his men. Shen takes the magic paintbrush and she starts to paint again. She paints a mound of golden rice, cakes like little moons, and drums and flutes till the streets ring out with merry tunes. The sun goes down, the moon comes out, it shines as bright as day, while Shen and the villagers dance the night away. Good night. Bye-bye.